But how hard is it to get in here? As a student, I mean. What's up guys, it's Nin here from Ascent to Second and today, as you saw from the intro, I got my hands on the 2019 Oxford entrance exam for mathematics. And we're gonna try to take it. I don't know how is this gonna end up. I haven't looked at it at all. Uh, I have no practice in these skills. Anything that is in this test is relying upon whatever I've learned in the past. Like I haven't done any special courses. I haven't taken any past exams. And I'm gonna spend two and a half hours on this and hopefully I can pass this this exam. And so we'll get into the details of it right now. Alrighty, so here's the exam and now we've been mentioning for Oxford and this test is out of 115 points since I'll be only doing the first six questions. I wanna do a purely mathematics based exam. The seventh question would be any philosophy majors, but just before we get into the actual exam, I do want to say that I want to thank Mike Boyd for the idea of this video. He's the one who initially made this video about how hard is it to get to Oxford. And so he took the exam. He had a day to prepare for it. I want to go in completely blind. I don't want to take a second exam. I don't want to take more than one. Just take the exam blindly and if I can get in. And I do have an advantage over Mike since I'm still in university. Um, I'm not studying pure maths, I'm studying actual science. So I guess that kind of helps for some degrees of mathematics, but I am curious to see how hard this exam is. And if I do possibly get an interview because you need at least a 60% to have a 70% chance to get an interview with Oxford. And so the way that the exam works is that it doesn't guarantee you a spot in Oxford, but it rats out the people who would be like applicants that you don't necessarily need to interview because this would help you um, get them out of the system. And so it just reduces the number of applicants that they have to interview in the process. And so it helps them in that regard. And so I want to see if I can land this interview. So I need at least a 69 out of 115. So nice, but I'm aiming for a 70. Hopefully I get higher than a 70. Um, I will be grading it. I'll take pictures of all my answers and the test. Afterwards, I'll link it all in the description. You can have the test, you can have my answers, and we can do a recap video of how I felt if need be. Let me know down in the comments. But that's enough said, let's get into this exam. So before we get into the exam, I want to show that it is five o'clock where I am today. It's the day after Christmas. So it is five o'clock right now. And I'll probably open that same laptop again after the two and a half hours. I probably won't need the full two and a half hours, but we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I don't. And so here is the exam. And so you would fill out your name, other names, candidate ID, and all of this is for specifics if you're taking the exam for a serious purpose. This is just for a video. So I am just going to do number one, two, three, four, five. And then for mathematics, I also have to take six. And so for philosophy, you, for philosophy and computer science, you also need to take seven, but I don't need to take seven. So what we can do is the first question, each part is worth four points. There's 10 parts to the first question. And every other question after that is worth 15 points. And so I'm aiming for a 70 and let's get straight into it. So I'm going to go into this test blind, but I am somewhat confident in my abilities. So hopefully this works out. I'll record a few time lapses and I will get into the test taking thing. So the first problem I guess I can discuss that I've encountered is that there's questions on here that I've learned in the past that they need a little bit of refreshing for me to do. So like there's a question, the first part of where I need to find the number of real solutions, but it's a cubic function. 
and learning cubic functions is something I did back in high school. And it's going to be tough to memorize this right now, but we'll figure something out. Run the time lapse. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm up to the fifth part of the first question and I only have two answers out of the four for the first ones and it's kind of hard. It is like, it's intense. Like, it's not like a give me exam. Like even if you're like really good at math, it's not like, oh, you can just pass with flying colors. Like this is something I feel like you're going to need like months of preparation for and excel at math so it's a nice way of sorting out like who should be in the program and who shouldn't be in the program but we'll see how it goes i'm still halfway through the first question and it's only been 20 minutes so i still got two hours to go so wish me luck So we're almost done with the first part. Uh, I'm feeling better. I mean, I have skipped a few. Um, they work hard, but these two questions I'm on right now aren't that bad. I'm feeling good about them. And hopefully this is not like a foreshadowing of me just getting them all wrong and then I just get like a 30 on this whole test. So hopefully none of that happens, but I am feeling happy about the way that this is going so far. All right. And we're up to number two, finally. I think after like 30 minutes of work, I still have to go back to them, but um, finally up to number two. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, this is intense. I, I cannot, like, th this is crazy. I. If you guys have a chance, take a look at this down below in the bio. I, I don't know where to start. I'm probably gonna have to skip it, but wish me luck. So some more time has elapsed and I'm up to question number five and I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I'm feeling confident. The questions weren't as bad as I was expecting. It's something that I can understand. I can formulate an answer to show work because there is partial credit for these exams. And so uh, number five is like almost straight up my alley. It's a, um, almost like a combinations and permutations question. And so we're using these partitions and we're dividing up elements with, within these sets. So I'm feeling good. We're up to number five and then we'll tackle number six. And then I feel like I won't even need the entire two and a half hours. So hopefully it works out. Okay. so. This is the end of, uh, I think I'm gonna call it here. Cause I, I, I don't think I can go through any more of that. I think, um, I think I got enough points that I could go for an interview. So I, I finished the test. So this is, I went through the entire exam and um, it wasn't that bad. I don't know what time it is. I should check what time it is right now. Um, so we started around like five o'clock. And right now it's 6.49. So I needed about what, an hour 50-ish? So that's not bad. Um, if, if this was the real test, I would have gone back, checked my answers, um, finished a few that I skipped. Like there's like some parts of the questions that would just take so much time. But I honestly feel like I think I got more than the 69 points that I need. So hopefully 
I did. I'm gonna go and grade it right now. I'm going to go get my laptop, um, grade it in front of you guys. Uh, it's time lapse it, but um, I will be back. <laughs> Alright, so this is kind of scary. I do have the um, the answers in front of me now, so I'm going to grade it in front of you guys and let's see how I did. I mean, I am going to do a time lapse, but I will do a recap right after um, of what I got. And hopefully we did well, so wish me luck. I just completed marking my entire paper. Now I just need to add every question and get my total score. So, so far I did get a few questions wrong. I didn't get any questions completely wrong. I actually got some questions like mostly right. And so I'm really surprised by that, like somewhat. Like I did, I thought that maybe I was picking some questions differently that would be um, like not the right answer, but so far it's looking good. So let's keep on going. Alrighty, so as you can see from the smile on my face, um, we just finished wrapping up grading this test. Um, so I said that we needed a 69 out of 115 possible points. And so I was hoping for at least a 70. And so um, we got just that. We got a 71 on the uh, exam. And so I will take pictures of this and I will put it down in the bio where you can look at all my answers. And you can take this test for yourself too. And so I got from the first 10, um, multiple choice questions i got seven right and so each one was four points so i got 28 points from that and then part one i got nine points out of 15 part uh so basic number two so i did two three four five and six so number two i got nine out of 15 number three i got 11 out of 15 number four i got five out of 15 that was a really hard question um and i was really harsh from the grading i would literally if i had even like if I didn't explain it like how they wrote it, um, I would give myself like one point, even if I had the right answer. Um, and you can see that when I do link it down in the, the bio. And then for number five, I got 10 out of 15. And the last one for number six, I got eight out of 15. So overall, uh, I'm pretty happy. I mean, uh, depending on this, I would, there is a 70% chance that I would have gotten a interview for the Oxford pure mathematics like uh, being a student there and so that was really encouraging especially since I did not study did not look at the test beforehand um I didn't like go over it I could have gone over it got a few more points here and there who knows even the proctor would have been more like um like the person who's grading my test would have been more lenient on how they graded it so I'm pretty happy I mean not gonna lie uh I look forward to more of these videos taking my like, exams about practice or maybe even practicing for an exam for like a week and seeing how well I can do. So I also want to thank Mike Void again for this idea and the uh, inspiration to make this video. It was a long tedious video to make since I had to first print this out then take the exam, film while taking the exam, give my notes. but. And my feedback but i honestly had a lot of fun filming this and i look forward to seeing you next sunday for our next math video and if you're liking these type of videos leave a comment down below let me know what i should post i hope you have a great new year's and other than that peace out